Hello. <laughs> Didn't see you come in there. I'm still pondering this disk drive thing and how I can get this set up so that I can test this. See, as you may remember, there were some switches installed. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is complicating everything. See, I have done this before, not just with disk drives, but other things, where you set something up beside them and you do the switches not the switches you do the connectors and you know you know you know you know but this circuit board it pesters me it does tree Tremendously. Alright. So if I put the circuit board there. Will everything reach? I don't know. Alright, it doesn't really matter if I have the power one. It does not. What I really need is the read right head. And I got that. So, just so you, okay, just to catch you up in case you're not watching. I got a disk drive. It's got some switches on it. They're a pain. One of them turns off the right protect switch. One of them changes the device between 8 and 9. But it won't read a disk or anything. So, I'm just trying to test the actual drive mechanism on a disk drive that I know works. This one works. Actually, at the moment, this disk drive has three, no, four, three, four of, whoa, don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. Four of the chips off the circuit board from the disk drive that won't work. It does. Okay. All right. So, now the way you make sure you got these right is there's a little lip on the side of the connectors and the lip goes in also the kind of let me just get this in here the connectors have little kind of windows on the front where you can see the connector And they, they are also pointing in. So I think at this moment that I have everything connected so that this drive here will now control this drive, just the mechanism, here. That's what I think. So if I turn this on, Well, it didn't spin. All right, what have I done? 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 I 
have something is not very right clear. Let me look. Well, so let me see here. Flip this funky ass switch here. That makes no difference. Flip this funky ass switch here. Yep. That makes no difference. Alright, what have I forgotten? I'm gonna just ever so gently. Neglected to do. Is it something to do? Well, I don't. Uh, what is going on here? I have. I have done this before. Alright. I'll take that connector off. This connector back on. Oh, do I have it on right? That is the question. Do I have it on right? Let's turn this on. back. It's the right way. And it does look like it goes to the motor. Funny how to get at the right angle or the wrong angle with this weird thing sitting here, and things happen or they don't. All right, so oh, always double check your connectors. Okay. Uh -oh. oh no, my documentation has come off. Definitely need the monitor and the disk drive and power. All right, so monitor on disk drive. On. Power. On. Disk drive responding as per it should. So, and the test demo disk is here. So, I 
I'm loading the directory. Have I got it? Yes, I do. My gut tells me this is not going to work. I will press it, it will go chatter, and say screw you. I cleaned the head. I really think the drive mechanism itself, the head, is probably toast. I can clean it some more, but I just don't think it's going to make any difference. So, let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, it fought some. Or it's just more. Than it did before. I'm going to try and initialize this. See if a good head banging will help it. No. So far, I have been using disks that I am familiar with, and the results have not gone well. I'm going to just try this disk here. This is the music disk I found amongst the funny disks. You know, it's, it's, it's doing more fighting. It's trying. Which is more than what it did. Ooh, I thought it had it. It's fighting. It wants to live. But it is not happening. Here, I'll take this disc out. Now, as I look at both of these, see, the head itself is supposed to be like a line. Maybe it just needs more. Now there also could be an alignment issue. But here's what I'm going to do. And then I will leave these to sit. Normally I would do that up, I'm not going to. I'm going at the drive here, which I know works. And I'm going to twist and twist and turn on the head so I can get a look. Like, I know this one works. And I know it has been working, but of course, cleaning the head. I mean, I don't want to do it too often. But I just want to get a look. And I don't really see tons of residue like I did on the other one. But one thing that does look a little different, a little bit, hard to see. Maybe, uh, maybe there's still more dirt to be dealt with on this one. Maybe. So, I'm going to go for the head. not so easy to get at it in this sideways, twisted up, dick around configuration. But I still think I 
Let's see. More. More stuff on it. No, I don't know. It's just hard to describe. It just doesn't look. Mind you, these heads are. These are two different drive mechanisms. So it may be the head looks a little different. Maybe. But it looks pretty clean there. And I don't see tons of residue like I did before. I don't. They do look a little different than it. Remember, this is a Neutronics. Neutronics? Yeah, Neutronics. And this is the other. Suddenly the name escapes me. Alcohol is always a good thing to clean up some other things. It is that spilt. There we go. Let's get some dust out. There, some dirt. Now that's not off the head, that's just off the plastic. Uh, good stuff. Alright, so. My gut tells me that something else is screwed on this drive. And if the read right head is bad, it's bad. It is. Anyway, I've done all I can do for this moment. I think what I'm going to do is turn everything off, let it rest overnight, and then have at it again tomorrow, making sure that Penny doesn't come up here and try and jump around any. All right. So, if anybody has any suggestions, please help me. Alright, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for coming. Always an adventure here. Until we meet again, bye for now.